Why do ladders have outnumbered steps? The balance trick you never noticed. Have you ever climbed a ladder and realized it just feels right? You start from the ground, climb up evenly, and end up with both feet level at the top. Like it was meant to be that way. Well, guess what? It was. That perfect balance is in luck. It's design. And the secret. Most ladders have an odd number of steps. Let's climb back in time. Ladders have been around for over 10,000 years. The oldest painting of one was found in a Spanish cave. But as simple as they seem, their design follows a rule that's quietly rooted in balance, rhythm, and even human anatomy. Here's the trick. When a ladder has odd-numbered rungs, you start with one foot, say you're right, and when you reach the top, you'll end with the same foot. That keeps your body aligned and centered when you step off. But if the ladder had an even number of steps, you'd end with the opposite foot, throwing your balance off when stepping onto a surface or platform. This tiny difference can prevent slips and falls, especially for workers using extension ladders on uneven ground or rooftops. Early carpenters and engineers noticed this instinctively long before safety standards existed. By the Industrial Revolution, ladder makers were formalizing these proportions. Manufacturers. Manufacturers. Standardized step spacing, usually 12 inches apart, and often ensured an odd count for practical ergonomics, even today. OSHA and NC Ladder Design Codes, Dante Mandate, Odd Numbers. But you... L find many ladders naturally follow it because it simply feels more stable and symmetrical. It has a clever mix of human rhythm and physics, like a hidden handshake between your feet and gravity. So next time you climb up to change a bulb or paint a wall, notice that quiet balance built into your ladder. It's a small design choice that's been keeping humans upright for millennia. Flashback facts where even steps have stories.